Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear students, today we will continue with the play Valpone, which is a comedy play written by Ben Johnson. It is an English Renaissance drama. Now in this lecture, we have Act 2. After finishing with Act 1, uh, as we already saw, how Act 1 ended with Valbon's desires to see Celia. He want to see Celia, the wife of Covino. Now we have Act Two. In Act Two, where the setting now is changed, it moved from the setting of Act One, where is the chamber or the mansion of Valpone in Act One, into Covino house or the front of Covino house. In this first scene of Act 2 we have a long dialogue between Sir Politica would be and a bargain. A bargain is a gentleman tours from England and both of them they will introduce the subplot of this play in the coming act now you already know that at the first term or the first semester where I gave you the essential literary terms you will find one of the definition it is plot which is the sequence of events in a literary work now we have a subplot now sometimes in the plays we have not only plot but also subplot subplot it means the subordinate plot the secondary plot it means a side story for the main story of the play we will see the subplots in the coming Act. Now we will move into Act 2, Scene 2. Now in this scene, we will see Valpon. Now Valpon will disguise himself as a Monty Punk. A Monty Punk is a person who sells medicines, drugs, oils at the ancient time. Now, Bargain will describe him as a quack sailors. Now, Valpun enters as disguised as a mount bank followed by lots of cloud. Now he took the name of Escoto Mantono. Now he disguised as a mountbank of uh, his name is Coto Mantono. Now Vapon was absent more than eight months 
or from the city of Venus. He spent all these eight months in his chamber pretending to be sick. Now we see a very nice song here for selling his product, his oil. Now, what Bon disguised as Scotta Mantono promised to discount the first one throws his handkerchief on him and the first one who throws the handkerchief was Celia she throws the handkerchief on Valpon now he I mean Valpon admired the beauty of Celia he gave her powder all the above incident mention is plotted by Moscow the servant of Valpon and the, the desire of Valpon who wants to see the beauty of now we move into scene number three where Corvino, the husband of Celia, a very jealous Italian husband, will expel the Monty Punk from Celia window. It's very short scene and we move into scene number four now in this scene scene number four now the setting is in Vapon's house now here we have Vapon wanted he is asking for the help he asked Moscow for the help he wants him to cuckold Kovin now Vopen offered Moscow everything for a meeting with Celia he offered gold, plates, jewels, everything for Moscow Now here, the theme of desire is totally changed. Change from money into beauty. Change from gold into women. Now he cannot live without Celia. But Mosca will plan everything to get Valpon's fortune. He become greedy in scene 5 it is about the character of Celia a lot of description about her she described as innocent she is virtuous on the contrary Corvino seemed very jealous he is dragging her he throwed her he started calling himself a cuckold he compared between Italian man and a Dutch man mm. 
he threatens her by killing her by assault this is a very uh, marginalization of the view of women here women like she appear to be dominated by man now on this now we have in this scene also we have knock if you remember the knocks in the first act now in this scene we have the knock of Masca who is coming now here we have scene number six now Masca has a new a news and this news is uh, a very sad news for Corvino which is the news of Valpon recovered now Valpon took the oil of the Mount Bank by the, the help of Carpaccio and Valtor who brought him the oil and now he come back as a young man now Valpon for women and now uh, Valpon uh, as the doctor advised him yeah. now Corvino asked uh, Moscow to bring a coach for Valpon but Valpon thinks that it will cheat them. Now Masca instigates Corvino to bring uh, a woman which is a kinswoman of Corvino. Now he is instigating him to Brasilia. which is the end of scene number six now at the end of scene number six Corvino has the intention of taking his wife into Valpon scene number seven here we have Corvino now showed us the the man from the Petrachia society the dominating figure of man over woman he commands Celia to put the best dress and to go with him he is not anger anymore from her and he will take her into the house of Valpon. Now, this man, I mean, the, the behavior of this man changed from the jealous man into the cuckold man. Thank you very much.